My name is Amelia, and I never imagined that the love I once thought was unbreakable could face such a tumultuous challenge. Charles, my husband, was always a bit of a player. I held on to the hope that marriage would temper his roving tendencies, but I was about to discover that some habits die hard. One ordinary day, Charles and I were nestled comfortably on the couch, cocooned in the illusion of marital bliss. The tranquility shattered when Charles's phone pierced the air with its insistent ringtone. His expression shifted from casual to nervous in an instant. The screen displayed a name that made my stomach churn. Claire. I couldn't suppress the unease that bubbled within me, so I mustered the courage to confront him. Who is Claire? I asked, my voice steady, despite the storm brewing inside. Charles, always the master of deflection, tried to evade the question. He mumbled something about work, but his eyes betrayed the truth. Undeterred, I decided to investigate further, to unravel the mystery that was threatening to unravel our marriage. The phone rang again, this time a video call. I couldn't ignore the sinking feeling as I noticed Charles's fumbling attempts to reject the call discreetly. Claire's name mocked me from the screen, daring me to uncover the secrets hidden behind that innocuous device. Unable to contain my curiosity and frustration any longer, I seized the phone and answered the call. A voice, presumably Claire's, greeted me with an unsettling question. Are you home alone? The audacity of the inquiry ignited a fire within me, burning with both anger and betrayal. Charles stood there, frozen in guilt, unable to offer any explanation that could quell the storm that had erupted in our living room. I demanded answers, desperate to understand how the man I had pledged my life to could jeopardize our sacred bond with such recklessness. In a desperate attempt to justify his actions, he confessed to seeing Claire and engaging in intimate activities. The weight of his words hung heavy in the air, suffocating the sacred space we had built together. I felt a mixture of rage, disbelief, and heartbreak. How could he have strayed so far from the commitment we made to each other? The man I thought I knew seemed like a stranger, and the betrayal cut deeper than I could have ever anticipated. Fury surged within me, and without thinking, I stormed towards the cupboard, my mind racing with a primal need to rid our shared space of the man who had tarnished its sanctity. As I reached for his clothes, ready to cast them out like the shattered fragments of our marriage, my fingers brushed against something soft and delicate. I pulled it out, and my heart sank. Lacy panties, not mine. I was momentarily paralyzed, staring at the damning evidence in my hands. The truth hung in the air, confirming the extent of Charles's betrayal. The audacity of keeping another woman's intimate belongings in our home felt like a slap in the face. Without uttering a word, I turned to Charles, my eyes aflame with a mixture of disbelief and rage. Explain this, I demanded, holding the lacy evidence like a weapon. His attempt at an apology only fueled the fire within me. Sorry, that's Claire's, he muttered, as if the admission would somehow absolve him of the wreckage he had wrought upon our lives. The room crackled with tension, and the walls seemed to close in on us. I was engulfed in a whirlwind of emotions, anger, sadness, and a profound sense of betrayal. The man who had once been the center of my world now stood before me as a stranger, a phantom of the love we had built together. You know what, Charles? I said, my voice edged with a steely determination that surprised even me. Either you're going to do exactly what I say, or you can leave and never come back. His eyes widened, a mixture of fear and uncertainty clouding them. I could see the panic setting in, but there was something deeper beneath the surface, a realization that his actions had pushed us to the brink. Charles stammered. No, tell me, I'll make this right, Amelia, I promise. His words echoed in the strained silence of our unraveling life. I glanced down at the lacy panties still clutched in my hand, a symbol of the infidelity that had stained our once happy home. You know what, Charles? I repeated, my voice now steady and resolute. 
I'm going to turn you into a bitch. Confusion flickered across his face, and for a moment, he seemed lost in the gravity of my words. You've been a naughty boy, I shouted, the weight of betrayal lending an edge to my voice. And I'm going to turn you into a sissy as a punishment. Charles, now caught in the storm of consequences, was still grappling with the sudden turn of events. I methodically stripped away his clothes, leaving him bare and vulnerable. The symbolism was not lost on either of us, the dismantling of the identity he had tarnished with his unfaithfulness. The air was thick with tension as I produced a vibrant red wig, a stark contrast to the reality we found ourselves in. I placed the wig on his head, adjusting it to sit just right. You are no longer Charles, I declared, my voice firm and unwavering. And you are now Candace. Understood, sissy? The gravity of the situation settled over us, the transformation signaling a shift in power dynamics, a peculiar form of retribution for the wounds inflicted on our relationship. Charles, now Candace, nodded in reluctant acceptance. His eyes, once filled with the arrogance of deceit, now reflected a mixture of shame and submission. The room felt charged with an energy that transcended the physical changes. It was a psychological reckoning, a manifestation of the consequences for his actions. I seized the lacy panties, the catalyst for this unusual metamorphosis, and slid them onto Candace. Don't get any stains on it, sissy, I warned, my voice a mixture of bitterness and authority. The symbolism was not lost on either of us. The very garments that had entangled him in this mess were now a part of his penance. Next came my bra, a stark contrast to the masculinity he had once embodied. The dress followed suit, draping over his newly assumed form. Yet something felt off, a discordant note in this bizarre symphony of consequences. Realization struck. The remnants of his masculine identity lingered in the tufts of body hair that adorned his legs. A surge of determination overcame me, he had sought pleasure outside our marriage, and now he would endure the painful consequences. Want to cheat on me, huh? I declared, my voice a sharp edge cutting through the charged air. Well, you're going to pay for it, sissy. I prepared the wax, the instrument of both punishment and transformation. Each strip was a painful reminder of the breach of trust, a physical manifestation of the consequences he had brought upon himself. Candace winced with each pull, the agony etched across his face. As the waxing continued, the room echoed with a peculiar mix of pain and retribution. The final strip of wax peeled away, leaving Candace's legs smooth but marked with the imprints of both physical pain and emotional turmoil. The room, thick with tension, absorbed the echoes of the peculiar mix of pain and retribution that lingered in the air. As the waxing concluded, I took a step back, surveying the altered figure before me. But there was one more step to complete this transformative journey. With a determined stride, I fetched my high heels, presenting them to Candace. Wear them, sissy, I commanded, my voice a sharp contrast to the empathy that once flowed between us. The heels, a symbol of femininity, were now instruments of humiliation, I watched as he struggled to navigate the unfamiliar terrain of stiletto heels, the agony of the waxing still etched on his features. What a sissy you are, I taunted, a cruel smirk playing on my lips. Can't even walk in heels properly. The words dripped with scorn, a bitter reminder of the power dynamics that had shifted so dramatically in the wake of his betrayal. Candace, burdened by the weight of his new identity and the physical discomfort of the transformation, stumbled awkwardly in the heels. Each faltering step seemed to magnify the magnitude of the consequences he faced, a man reduced to a caricature of his former self. Hope you enjoyed this story, and if you're looking for a daily escape into the world of cross-dressing, subscribe now and enjoy new stories every single day.